The old state house was built in Boston in 1713, more than 300 years ago. It is the longest standing public building in the city today. The old state house was built to replace Boston's, Boston's townhouse that burned down in flames in 1711. This is the site of the first U.S. court where the Supreme Judicial Court ruled on many important laws and decisions until 1798. In the early 1800s, the city rented out building space to businesses until the 1830s when it became Boston City Hall. Under the balcony of the Old State House is a circle of cobblestone recognizing the Boston Massacre. The battle happened right in front of it. On the second floor is a room that held many debates between no notable politicians. This is where James Otis fought against the writs of assistance. That puts this building in the middle of the civic conflict that began the American Revolution. On the balcony of the Old State House, is where the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence was announced on July 18, 1776. This building has experienced wear and tear over time. The house was originally decorated with British symbols such as a lion and unicorn, as you can see. But after the Declaration of Independence was read here, the Patriots soon burned, burned the statues in a bonfire. As you can see, the old state house isn't the same as it was in the 1700s because it has been renovated and repaired. There is, a, there is now a new line in Unicorn that are golden statues. Today, the old state house is used for educational purposes and tourism. Reenactments are held for, held for tourists. Overall, the old state house is an amazing part of the Freedom Trail holding lots of historic features and a very important part of the American Revolution. Thank you.